teeny tiny amount of mist and it's pretty hard to shoot actually <laughs> crowded by fishermen i'm freaking lazy person but who cares good morning guys welcome back to my channel i'm really glad you're here and welcome to the swamps of Shodrash, which used to be a lake or a river or old part of the Nubi river but now it looks like a swamp the level of water is dramatically low all this place all this grass was underwater just two weeks ago and probably i will find a picture of this place two weeks ago because this is my third attempt to take some pictures here or record a video for you guys here this is my third try again it turns out to be a bit different from what i expected but today instead of a high level of water i've got here a teeny tiny amount of mist backlighted with the rising sun I'm trying to hide my camera uh, with the shadow of this, uh, of the branches of this tree this trunk here is my main subject I love this shadows and lights and this structure and this texture but also i love the texture of this grass and those bushes in the distance i have to take at least two shots to exposure stack this image one shot is for the shadows with the clipped sky because of overexposure and the second image for the highlights and after all, I will stack these images in Lightroom. And it's always nice to get some natural mist. I just love these kind of conditions because it's kind of very rare to find the mist or it's hard to wake up this early to get this mist in your shot of course you can always imitate this mist with negative dehaze this is just nice and this is so natural and so beautiful and it's pretty hard to shoot actually <laughs> probably i have to switch my lens But even with the telephoto lens, I'm just struggling to find this type of composition. Because, okay, we got some kind of mist here, but in this case, I got a lack of subject. Probably I have to stay by this tree here. And in this case, this branch will be a subject in my shot in front of this rays of sun through the mist does it mean i have to switch my lens back Actually, this place is for fishing and previous two tries I was competing with fishermen for the access to the water <laughs> because every, every single point, every single place with direct access to the water was covered, was crowded by fishermen. Today <laughs> there is no water and fortunately no fishermen. But also we got no reflections I was hoping for. My plan was to shoot those autumn colors reflected in the water, still and calm, with, you know, with this small amount of mist over the water. 
the destiny of a photographer. You'll never get something you were hoping for. In the majority of situations, you'll get something different. Probably also interesting, but different. Seems like I got this uh, proper combination of the focus length of the subject and the framing and lights. All the pieces of puzzle just combined nicely this time. This is my main subject with tree trunk in the grass. I love this difference of these textures with grass texture. It looks nice. Again, I have to take two exposures, one for the shadows and one for highlight. It would be nice to have some flying birds in this frame, but, but unfortunately those birds declined my offer to participate in this frame. And actually, from this position it looks nicer, but unfortunately there are huge amount of elements, huge amount of distractions in this shot. I will take this shot anyway, and I'll try to clone out those distractions in Photoshop. But from this lower position, those rays are very exaggerated. I love how this rays looks. If you compare efforts to results, probably landscape photography is the worst way of spending your time. But who cares? Results. This is actually what I love about landscape photography. I just love this possibility to just take no care about results. Fortunately, in landscape photography, you have this possibility. Shut up. Because in landscape photography, you have this possibility to do not care about the results. Instead of uh, wedding photography, for example, if you're a wedding photographer, you should care about your results. Take a look at this stomp. This is an amazing example of the stomps family. Isn't that stomp just gorgeous? A beautiful subject, right? And all those birds will participate in my shot. I will not ask a permission. I don't want to run away. I don't want to switch locations. I'm a freaking lazy person. If I give up to my laziness, I will take no shots. One more composition for today. I just really love those islands of grass steering from water. And I love this type of haze in the distance. You know what is the difference between me who woke up this stupid early to get to this location in the mist in the morning and you who are watching this in the comfort of your cozy home on YouTube. The secret is there is no difference between us because you and I, we have the same passion about photography. And if I can get up early and get to the location and 
just walk by the swamp that means you also can do something useful for example hit the like button subscribe to my channel and push the notification bell this helps a lot and i do really appreciate that help